Good morning, praying parents. May the Lord keep you and may he continue to shine his face upon you and your children and your family. I want us to continue to give him thanks because he's a good God. The Bible says God inhabits the praises of his people. So Father, we thank you this morning. I thank God for your families this morning. I thank God for your week. I thank God for your children's day. I thank God for their week. I commit your family into the hands of the Lord right now and I give him praise. Hallelujah. I give him praise for he is good. Father, we thank you. We worship you. We magnify your holy name. I want you to say, Father, I thank you. I worship you. I magnify your holy name. Father, I thank you. I worship you. I magnify your holy name. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I magnify your holy name. Magnify his name right now. Exalt him. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We worship you. Father, we worship you, we praise you, we honor you, O God. We bless you, Jesus. We worship you, worship him, worship him. He has defeated all your enemies. You may not know it, you may not see it. I'm telling you that the Lord has defeated all your enemies. His plans concerning you will not come to pass. Concerning your children, it will not come to pass. I want us to give him praise because he is a good God. He is a good God. He is. He is a good God. Hallelujah. I want you to say, Father, I thank you for my family. I thank you for my home. I thank you for my children. I thank you because your word is yes and amen in the name of Jesus Christ. Worship him right now and say, Father, thank you. Yes, worship him, worship him, worship him. Whatever your case is this week, it is won in Jesus' name. Whatever your children step into this week, they are victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. Give him praise for victory. Thank him for your children right now. Say, Father, I thank you for my children. I thank the Lord for your children. Give God praise. They are not a curse. They are a blessing. They are a blessing. They are not a curse. I want you to say, Father, I thank you that my children are a blessing and they are not a curse. They are a blessing and they are not a curse. Every curse over your family is broken in the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Hallelujah. Jesus. Father, we give you praise. Oh, we give you glory. We magnify your holy name for you are good. Hallelujah. You are good. You are good. And there is none like you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. Praying parents, what the Lord laid upon my heart this morning, what he was saying to me is I will shut the mouth of the lion. I will shut the mouth of the lion and you will dance in the lion's den. Glory be to God. And so he took me to Daniel chapter 6. The Lord took me to Daniel chapter 6. Where they plotted against Daniel. Where the king, the Bible says that in, in uh, uh, Daniel chapter 6 verse 3. This Daniel distinguished himself above the governors and satraps. Because an excellent spirit was in him and the king gave thought to setting him over the whole realm. So what happened is that Daniel had an excellent spirit. He was beginning to find favor. The favor of God was upon him. He was beginning to find favor with the king. But the devil already was trying to set him up. And so the governors and the satraps sought to find some charge against Daniel concerning the kingdom. But they could find no charge or fault because he was faithful. 
nor was there any error or fault found in him. I want us to pray this morning and say, Father, all those who have put a charge against me and my family, they will not be able to find a charge of fault. They will not be able to find a charge of fault in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I say the enemy will not be able to find a charge of fault against you. In the name of Jesus, begin to thank the Lord right now and say, Father, I thank you that the enemy will not be able to find a fault or charge against me and my family, against me and my children. All those that are looking to find fault with you, all those that are seeking to pull you down, they will not be able to find that fault. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will deliver you from the traps and the snare of your adversaries. He will deliver your children. I plead the blood of Jesus over your family, over your home. In the name of Jesus, all those demons, all those agents of Satan that the enemy has set, all your adversaries that the enemy has set to bring you down, to bring your children down, to bring your family down. Oh no, it will not happen. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will deliver you like he delivered Daniel from the lion's den. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Makata Lamaka Seketalababa. Mazama kale makasa katala baba mazare makaya kala makaseke la brama kataka tala makara bakaseke abrama gazeke tala mama le brema gazeke tala baba le brema gazeke tala baba ye brama gazeke tala baba there shall be no fault found with you or your children in the name of Jesus the bible says that satan is the accuser of the brethren today in the name of Jesus i rebuke every accusation against you and your children against your family i rebuke every accusation. I bind right now in the name of Jesus, every accusation of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all those charges that the enemy is seeking to place against you, all those charges, all the faults that they're trying to point against you, I decree today that those faults are broken. In the name of Jesus, they will not be able to find fault with you. The Lord will deliver you and your family from the traps and the snare of your adversaries. In the name of Jesus, all the those that want to bring you down in the name of Jesus, Mazaba Kaleba Kaseke Kalababa. All those that want to bring your children down, oh, the Lord will deliver you. The Lord will deliver your children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Amen, Amen, and Amen. You know, on the verge of Daniel's lifting, his enemies came to send him to the den of death. They came to accuse him. Today in the name of Jesus, all the enemies that have been set against your lifting, oh, they will not succeed. In the name of Jesus, all the enemies that have been set against your children's promotion, their lifting, oh yes, we pull those enemies down. In the name of Jesus, you know these are destiny destroyers. These are destiny killers. All the destiny killers around you, all the destiny destroyers around you, we break their hold. We break their power. We break their hold. We break their power. All the enemies that have gathered against your children, we break their hold. We break their power. In the name of Jesus, your children's destiny will not be cut off. Your destiny will not be cut off. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over you and your children. I plead the blood of Jesus over your family. No weapon fashioned against you or your children shall prosper. No weapon fashioned against
against today in your life and every day of your life shall prosper. No weapon fashioned against your weak shall prosper. No weapon fashioned against your children's weak shall prosper. No weapon fashioned against your home shall prosper. In the name of Jesus, Mazere Beke Sheke Talababa. La baraba gazeke talababa, le beraba gazeke talababa, le beraba gazeke talababa, yeke le bege rebe gazeke telebebe. Father, we give you praise, mazaba rema gayaka talamaka reba gazeke talababa. Oh, Father, we worship you, we magnify your holy name, we exalt you, O God, for you are good and there is none like you. Praying parents. We thank the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ uh, that you are victorious. Your children are victorious. You are victorious in your job. You are victorious in your home. Your children are victorious. You're weak. You are victorious. Today, you are victorious. Every day of your lives, your family are victorious in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you. And you know the next thing that they did? Because they could not get Daniel. All these evil people, when they can't get you, they don't leave you alone, you know. They went to regret group to try and plan his doom. All those that are planning your doom, that doom will come upon them and overtake them. They will be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All those that want to destroy your destiny, the Lord will scatter them. He will scatter them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Father God, thank you. And so when you look in Daniel chapter 6 verse 10, they try to put something against him again. And then Daniel knew that they had signed a writing so that nobody will worship any other God. They made a decree that whoever petitions any God or man for 30 days, except the king, shall be cast into the den of lions. You see, the enemy went to regroup. When they can't catch you, they try again. They don't give up. So you don't give up. You don't give up in the place of praise. You don't give up in the place of prayer. And when Daniel knew that the king has signed this writing, he went home. And in his upper room, with his windows open toward Jerusalem, he knelt down on his knees three times that day and he prayed and he gave thanks before his God as was his custom since his early days. This is a man of prayer. This is a man that has been praying since his early days, since his youth. He knew what to do. You've got to know what to do. In the midst of adversity, Daniel went home. He knelt down. He gave thanks. He prayed before his God. God wants you to go home and kneel down and pray and give him thanks and pray and give him thanks and pray and give him thanks. The Bible says this was his custom since his early days. We must practice praises and prayers in the midst of trouble in the name of Jesus. And so they found Daniel praying and making supplication before his God. And they went again to report him before the king. You see, this is the regrouping. They will not stop. They went again to report him to the king. And so the king then just gave a command that they bring Daniel and they cast him into the den of lions. But the king spoke, saying to Daniel, your God whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. Pray parents, your God whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. He will deliver your children. Whatever challenges you are facing today, you are facing tomorrow, you are facing this week. The God whom you serve continually, he will deliver you. I want you to begin to thank the Lord and say, Father, thank you that you have delivered me from the afflictions of men, from the attacks of men. You will Continue to deliver me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. La barabagazeke ta la barabagazeke ta la barabagazeke la barabagazeke ta la barabagazeke ta la baba le barabagazeke ta la baba baba le barabagazeke ta la baba barabagaya kalamakaseke. The Lord will disgrace all those that are contending with your life, with your destiny, with your children's destiny. The Lord will disgrace them. They will wither. They will be disgraced in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Jesus. Mazamare Magaja Katalababa. All those that are contending with you, contending with your children, contending with your destiny, the Lord will disgrace them. In the name of Jesus, Mazama Kalema Kaseke Talababa. Erebegeza Katalababa. Erebegeza Katalababa. Lebre Magazeke Talababa. Lebre Magazeke Talababa. Rebaba. You will not fall into the pit that the enemy has dug. Your children will not fall into the pit that the enemy has dug in the name of Jesus. Bazema Kale Makashaka Talababa. O Makale Makaseke Talababa. So Father, we thank you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so the king gave the command and Daniel was put, he was placed in the lion's den. They put him in the lion's den. This is the plan of the enemy to put you, to lock you up, to put you in the lion's den. Oh, Maka Seketalababa. But the Lord raised up favor with the king. The king could not sleep. The king fasted. Oh, God will give you favor. I say God will give you favor. The king fasted. He fasted. Mara Maka the Bible says in verse 18 of Daniel 6, the Bible says, now the king went to his palace and spent the night fasting and no musicians were brought before him. Also, his sleep went from him. He couldn't sleep. He couldn't sleep. And then the next morning, he woke up very early and he went to the lion's den. When he got to the den, he cried out with a lamenting voice to Daniel and he spoke saying to Daniel, Daniel, servant of the living God, as your God, whom you serve, continually been able to deliver you from the lions? And then Daniel said to the king, O oh, king, live forever. My God sent his angel and shut the lion's mouths so that they have not hurt me because I was found innocent before him. And also, O oh king, I have done no wrong before you. I want you to pray today, praying parents, and say, Father, thank you for shutting the lion's mouth in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for shutting the mouth of the lion so that they will not hurt you. They will not hurt your children. They will not hurt your family. You will be found innocent before the king in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, and amen. You see, the king refused to listen to music because of Daniel. All of your helpers, they will have no peace until they help you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this king could not sleep. He had to help Daniel. He couldn't sleep. Your helpers will not be asleep. Your children's helpers will not fall asleep. You will find favor in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and I declare your children will find favor. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, Father, we give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name we're praying. Amen, amen, and amen. So let us read on verse 23. Now the king was exceedingly glad for Daniel. He was happy for Daniel. And he commanded that they should take Daniel up out of the den. You will come out of the den, praying parents. Your children will come out of the den. You will dance. You will dance a new dance. You will sing a new song. In the name of Jesus, you will sing songs of victory. Your children will sing songs of victory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And so Daniel was taken up out of the den. And no injury, no injury whatever was found on him. Because he believed in his God. You will not be hurt. In the mighty mighty name of Jesus Christ. This situation will not take you out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Verse 24, and the king gave the command and they brought those men who had accused Daniel and they cast them into the den of lions. Them and their children and their wives and the lions overpowered them and they broke all their bones in pieces before they ever came to the bottom of the den. This is what will happen to your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your enemies will replace you in the lion's den. I decree it and I declare it right now. Your enemies, your children's enemies, the enemy of your family, they will replace you in the lion's den. In the 
mighty name of Jesus Christ, Mazarabaka Sheke Talababa. All those that are plotting and planning to put you and your children in the lion's den this year, every year of your lives, every day of your life, they shall replace you. They shall replace you in the name of Jesus, Mazamaka Labaka Sheke. They shall reap their own reward. They shall reap it in Jesus' name. Mazemaka Lemaka Seke Talababa. Erebeke Jakatala Maka Seke Talababa. The Lord will send angels to roll away evil, to roll away the stone uh, that was meant to cage you down. The Lord will send angels uh, to roll away the stones that was meant to cage your children down, that was meant to keep them in the lion's den. Hallelujah. Maka Seke Talamaka Yala Maka Seke Talababa. Nebre Maga Seke Talababa. Rebaga Seke Talababa. Erebega Jaka Talababa. Rebaga Seke Talababa. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Mazama kalema kashaka. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. You know, the Bible says in verse 22 that the Lord sent his angel to shut the, the lion's mouth that they have not hurt me. The Lord will send his angels to shut the lion's mouth so that you will not be hurt. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare that the Lord will send angels to shut the mouth of every devouring adversary adversary. They will not prevail against you. They will not prevail against your children. I want you to say, Father, I thank you that you have shut the mouth of the lions and my enemies have replaced me in the den. Oh Lord, I thank you that you have shut the mouth of the lions and my enemies have replaced me in the den. Oh yes, oh Lord, my God, I thank you that you have shut the mouth of the lions and my enemies have replaced me in that den. What they have wished for me, it will come upon them. In the name of Jesus, Pray that prayer right now and begin to thank the Lord. Every mouth of the lion is shut in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus, Maze Mare Magazeke Talababa. Yes, Lord Maze Berabaga Sheke Talababa. I want you to thank the Lord right now and say, Father, I thank you that my enemies will replace me. The mouth of the lion is shut in the name of Jesus. Maze Makalabaka Seke, the mouth of the lion is shut in the name of Jesus. The mouth of the lion is shut in the name of Jesus. Maze Makalabaka, you will dance out of the den. You will dance out of the den. You will dance out of the lion's den. In the name of Jesus, Mazema Kaleba Kazeke Talababa. All those that are accusing you, they will cast them into the den of lions. According to Daniel chapter 6, 24, all those that are accusing you, they will cast them into the den of lions in Jesus' mighty name. All those that are working against your children, all the satanists, all the evil will come upon them. In the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We magnify your holy name in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank the Lord for victory. You got your victory in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank him for victory. Father, I thank you. I worship you. I worship you. I thank you. I give you praise. Thank you for shutting the mouth of the lion. Thank you for taking me out of the lion's den. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Thank him for your children. They're out of the lion's den. Thank the Lord that he has shut the mouth of the lion. They cannot bite your children. Say, Father, I thank you for my family that you shut the mouth of the lion. Myself and my family, I want you to say that. Myself and my family, we're out of the lion's den. We're out of the lion's den. We're out of the lion's den. And the mouth of the lion is shut. Thank the Lord right now. Say, Father, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Father, thank you. We give you all the praise and all the glory in the mighty name 
of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. We worship you. We magnify your holy name. You are the living God. You are steadfast forever. Your kingdom is the one we shall not be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, and your dominion shall endure to the end. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. Father, we worship you. We give you praise. We thank you that you are the living God. Oh, I want you to say after me, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, that you are the living God. You are the living God and you are steadfast forever. Thank you for being steadfast forever. Thank you that your kingdom is the one which shall not be destroyed and your dominion shall endure to the end. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen and amen. You are delivered this morning. You are delivered every day. Your children are delivered. I cover your children's week with the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your week. I decree that whatever you and your children lay your hands upon shall prosper. I plead the protection that is in the name of Jesus over you and your children. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Like Daniel, you and your family, you are forever victorious in Jesus' name. Stand in that place of victory and keep giving him praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. As you step out this week, I plead the blood of Jesus over all your activities. In Jesus' name, you will not lose any one of your possessions. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I cover all your cars, all your modes of transportation, all your children's mode of transportation. I plead the blood of Jesus upon their coming in and their going out. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you. We praise you. We worship you. We magnify your holy name. You alone are holy. We bless you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen and amen. God bless you, praying parents. For those that are listening to me online, God bless you. And God continue to keep you in Jesus' mighty name. Sometimes you get music with this recording and sometimes you don't. It's because of YouTube. Bear with us and continue to stand in that place of prayer. May the Lord continue to keep you in Jesus' name. And I will see you online tonight by the grace of Almighty God at 9 p.m. UK time. God bless you.